got a quick little video for you today. I have recently picked up a Neve 8801, so now I have a pair of them. Um, I want to stereo link them, uh, which is done by a, a D connector on the back of the unit. I've just got my Rode Podcaster plugged into it. I'm not engaged any EQ or compression. Um, actually using this as a test to see make sure the mic preamp works okay. Um, yeah, so let's have a look at linking them together. So on the back panel here, you can see from the left-hand side, you have headphone output, which I guess will be useful to connect into a monitor mixer. Uh, the line output, we have the insert sends and returns. There's another DI input on the back. Um, and underneath that, you can see the dynamic side chain link and a key input as well. That's a balanced input signal there. And we have the rear microphone input and the line input. In the manual here, we can see uh, the pinouts for the nine pin connector. Um, and we can also see how they parallel them. So the first unit needs to come out of pins one and pin two. Pin two is the ground, pin one is the signal. Um, and they wire into pins three and four on the next unit. And if you want to cascade more, you can cascade, I think, up to 16 of them. Um, and pin 5 is not connected. And then we have the extra key input. So we have the ground and the plus and negative of the balance connection. So I think I'm going to actually wire this to my patch bay. So um, in for penny, in for pound, and just get everything wired up. And I'll need two... D sub connectors to join the two units uh, so that the the um, compressor will be stereo linked. I've got everything I need. We've got two uh, D subs, nine pins. We've got the housings, and I've got three wires here. These are off cuts from Van Dam Multicore, so really nice cable, and they have to be long enough so I can get each EQ out of the rack. Um, without uh, getting snagged on any cable, so I need a bit of excess. And the first thing we're going to do is just tin the 9-pin D-subs. I'm going to wire the uh, balanced key in inputs first. Um, I like to keep um, everything very short because you really want the earth to be as short as possible before it hits the sleeving to keep the signal shielded. And uh, that's pin 9, which is not in use. So then it goes earth, signal hot. So we have the hot. The out phase. And the earth. Right, so now we're going to have to run the wire link between the two. Um, I'm going to have to designate one as the top one. Um, I'll use this one with the red cable. I'm just going to mark that. So I can keep track of what's going on. And here I have the unbalanced cable, which will be from the one joining them together. So the top one... We're going to link pins 1 and pin 2. So that's the first two pins here. So upside down. And 
and this will now the other end of that wire and then connects to pins three and four on this connector okay and then you would use these to link onto another unit although I, I think they're all parallel so that I it probably wouldn't make any difference which pair I connected it to, but we're doing it by the book. Okay, I'll just get the case on. Great, well that's what the cable looks like. Uh, we have the two D subs uh, with the link for the side chain, and then we have an external input for each of the units. Uh, now I need to get these connected into the patch bay. Okay, we're going to plug the D subs into the units first. This is the one I marked in red, and that's important because obviously the key input will be for the top one, so I know which one that is. So just screw these in. And then one on the bottom. And then I can put this all back in the rack and forget about this side of the rack completely. And I'll just unravel these two key inputs. And I have to then feed them through a slot in the side of the rack here, which will get them to the patch bay side. So they've got to reach over to here. I've already got these insert send and returns. My DMX is above there. And they've got to come to these two sockets here um, from over there. just by pure chance my insert send returns are close to the key ins it looks nice let's test it for this demo i've got a reverse piano coming onto this track here this is where we'll be inserting each of the channel strips um, i also have a click which i've muted but there's a pre-fade going to output 14 uh, for my sound card uh, which is here that's output 14 and at the moment that's going into the key input number one so we'll address the top unit first, which is on insert 9 on Pro Tools. So that's going to that unit. And if I turn the threshold up, we can uh, engage the gate. And then if I press the threshold button, that enables the key input. You can even invert it, which is really nice. Okay, that works great. Let's uh, switch it to the other insert and we can send it to the other unit. And we'll just patch that click to the key input too. So it sends to this bottom unit.
Excellent. The uh, second machine works as expected. Now let's try a stereo drum kit. To um, enable it, we press both thresholds and enable the link mode. Um, let's give that a go. Great, that all works. Catch you next time.